This week, join me for our studies on Pratyahara, the fifth limb of the Ashtanga Eight Limbs. This is our second week going a little deeper into this, this practice that is thousands of years old, and this practice is how we stay healthy in our bodies and our energy and our emotions. And I want to look at two different ways that we can experience Pratyahara. And the first way is, um, is naturally, that we are designed to retreat from our senses in order to nourish ourselves. And one simple way to think about this is sleeping. So we know that if we get um, enough sleep, we wake up and we feel refreshed and revived and everything works better. Our body works better, we feel energetic and we, um, our brain works better. But if we don't get sleep, we've all had this happen before when we just, it wrecks us, right? So we know that going to sleep is turning off the senses. I go into a dark place to sleep. I, um, I can't have a lot of, of noise and stimulation to sleep. We turn off all of those things in order to rest all of our systems. We also see that, you know, we need that throughout the day. So we take a lunch break and we know how important it is not to be working while we're eating because those two things don't happen um, naturally simultaneously. If we are working, working and eating, eating, then we mess up our guts and digestion and can cause different health problems. The same for us when we know we need a vacation, we need to, um, to take some time off or in the evening we know what we need to do um, naturally is to stop working and to not be on our computers, but to, to rest and be in a quiet place and eat and have lovely conversations. That's all what we were designed naturally to do. That's Pratyahara. But what we found is in our busy, busy, busy lives that we're not taking time for lunch to just eat and rest. We're not coming home after a long day's work and, um, and, and finding silence and peace in our homes, but instead maybe continuing to work or being stimulated by our devices. So, um, so we know that intentionally, we have to set intention around making time for our pratyahara in our life to withdraw from our senses. And that could be through a simple um, yoga practice, through a simple meditation practice. It can be intentionally coming home in the evening and just spending time um, quietly on the couch or listening to soft music. There's so many ways that we can set intention to bring more pratyahara into our life. And, and also just the observation of paying attention to are we getting enough? So I invite you this week to join me in setting intention for how we can bring more peace and quiet and withdraw from our senses into our lives.